Hey everybody, this is Randy Kilo, November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. Uh, today we're going to do something uh, a little different from ham radios. Uh, I just recently purchased this Joy D008 from Amazon. I'm going to install it in my daughter's uh, 2011 SX4 Suzuki. And before I even do that, uh, this will be a Christmas present, so I won't do it after Christmas. But I'm going to go ahead and do did the initial power up video, just how to power it up, verify everything's working. Uh, this video is going to um, demonstrate uh, upgrading the software. Uh, my initial focus is the MCU software. And after that, then I'm going to upgrade the uh, um, uh, boot up screen specific to the Suzuki and some uh, wallpapers that would be specific to my daughter. So the first part of it's going to be the MCU. The second part will be the other uh, boot screen upgrades. So, of course, I ordered this from Amazon. It just took a couple days to get it. Uh, here's the box it comes in. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move forward on this. Um, so a little bit about the setup of the radio there's two parts of the update like I said the specific boot and the MCU um, the way to do this once you uh, purchase it and receive it from Amazon or wherever you get it from uh, you want to first off make a copy of your invoice um, there's and you want to send an email I sent the email um, to uh, this address here um, or you can go to Facebook and look it up and they can provide you information there. Uh, but there's some things you want to do before you do that initial contact. Um, you want to get a copy, a screenshot or whatever of your invoice via uh, Amazon or wherever you bought it. Get a copy of that picture. And if you want to update the boot screen to specifically to your car type, uh, like my daughter's S Suzuki SX4, um, you need to let them know that for the boot screen and if you have some pictures that you want to be loaded on for wallpapers you need to get a copy of those so I went to Amazon and just took a snapshot of the invoice that I purchased to radio um, and I've sent all that to put that in the pictures to uh, the email address here uh, so they're in China they're, you know, how many hours? 12, 14 hours different than us. So don't expect a uh, quick response if it's through, through the standard uh, US 9 to, 9 to 5. But they will probably respond later in the evening, which they did. They were prompt. Uh, every email I sent. So anyways, um, the way you, one thing picture you also want to send is your current uh, configuration, your firmware on your radio. Uh, to do that, just go to the home, uh, do power, you already powered up the radio, press the home button, uh, it'll come up with uh, the bottom screen here, uh, press the setup button, and from there, uh, you'll scroll down, and you'll come to this screen here, and press version, and you want to take a screenshot of this. This kind of give them an idea of the uh, version of software you have on a radio. And you'll include that in email that you send to them. Um, their response was quick. Uh, they provided me an MCU firmware upgrade. And they provided me a upgrade that adds the uh, uh, Suzuki specific boot screen and some of the uh, wallpapers. Um, that I wanted for my daughter. Now, of course, she'll probably want something else, and that's fine. After Christmas, I'll, I'll get that changed out. She all, they also provide instructions on how, how to actually do the upgrade. So, um, one of the things you need to do is get a standard USB stick, such as this one here. Um, you know, 32G, a gigabyte or below, uh, and you're going to uh, format it FAT32. Uh, the folders, the firmware folders, they, the files they provide you, just save them in separate folders. Um, I did that. So I had the specific for the MCU in a folder. Uh, you'll go to the folder, you unzip it, 
and then you're going to load the bin to your USB drive. Uh, right here is where you load your USB drive. Uh, once you start upgrading, once you stick the stick in, it may take a little bit, but it'll pop up and ask if you want to upgrade. Go ahead and click OK. Um, just be careful. Don't shut power down while you're doing this. could corrupt the upload and make the uh, radio worse non-operative. Um, during the upgrade, you'll see some sort of status bar. Uh, once the upgrade comes, it'll come back to the screen where you started. Uh, wait five seconds before you pull the stick out and then remove the stick. And once you've done that and you got the USB stick out, go ahead and take a small pin. It's really tiny. Um, I use something like this to use for resetting the uh, um, excuse me, the uh, phones and stuff. It's just a little tiny pin, reset pin. I use that to reset the radio. Uh, once you press it in, you know it's resetting the screen to go black. Uh, it'll boot back up during boot and bring up some screen similar to this, and then it'll come back to the factory default settings, and then you got to go back and set up time and all your local channels or stations and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and go to um, the USB. I'm going to stick the USB in my computer, let it see it. It'll take a second for it to come up. Um, it's seeing it now. And let's see something here. It should pop up on the screen, and there it is. So just right click on it, come down to format. Um, make sure you have FAT32. They have different. Uh, uh, different settings uh, um, but just get flat fat 32 and I don't put a volume label I do quick format and hit start okay and formats complete I'll go ahead and close it open that up and next I'm going to go to uh, where I downloaded the files. Um, when I did it, they gave me several files. There's a how-to video you can watch as well. Um, but I downloaded and I created a folder for the MCU. Uh, here's the file they gave me. i right-click on it. I use the uh, unzip it. I'll extract the files here. And there it is. I'll copy that bin file and I'll go back to my uh, USB drive and I'll paste it in so it's on the USB now and now what I'm going to do is come down here right click on that and I will safely remove that disk from my computer and now I'm going to set install the USB into the radio. If I get it lined here, there we go. It's in the radio. It's thinking. It's flashing. It's coming up. Okay. Yep. I want to go ahead and upgrade. So I'll push press the OK and starting the upgrade um, let's see how long it takes here it's not going to take too long you can see the progress uh, moving forward pretty quickly Okay, it's rebooting. Wait till the radio comes back up. It's starting back up. And okay, I will cancel and remove the stick. So it starts back up to the default. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down. And the last step is to take the little pin, 
you're probably going to well, see my hand's going to be over the front of the camera, but put it in the reset button, hold it, the screen to go black, it's beat right back, and it's back to the factory defaults, and that's part of uh, uploading the uh, MCU update. Okay, so it's rebooted, it's got the updated firmware on the uh, uh, MCU. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and reformat your USB. So I'm going to stick it back in the computer. Let it see it. And you want to go back and reformat. The safest thing is go ahead and reformat. You can probably just delete that file. <clears throat> but safe bet for me is format it back to 32 and let it reformat you probably could just copy delete that file the bin file and just load the new the other one on it so i'm gonna close it could open that file up i'll go back to my uh, folder where i have the suzuki uh, specific firmware <clears throat> Um, click on left click on it right click on it uh, extract the files here okay go in there uh, left click right click copy then I'm gonna put it back on the USB stick okay it's on there you can safely remove that uh, USB out of your computer get you a little better video here of this and now I'm going to install the stick into the radio I get it installed correctly kind of tight and it's loading up the screen upgrade hit OK And we got a black screen. Oh, it's initializing. It's racing. It's at three percent. So twenty percent. That takes a little bit of time here. I haven't been timing it, but I imagine it's going to take a couple minutes anyways for the uh, loading the uh, boot logo onto it and the wallpapers. Starting to go a lot quicker now. Okay, you wait five seconds. Unplug the USB stick. And after the five seconds, uh, Go back to the reset button, press and hold it, let go, let it go back and reboot. Look at that, Suzuki. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And there's uh, different uh, wallpapers you can set up. Let me turn the sound off here. Go to home, go to setup. Uh, come down with a factory setup press six 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 nine 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 okay and then you can come up here and um, look at the logos different changes you can make in it Um, for example, wallpaper. Look at wallpaper two, wallpaper three, wallpaper four. I think my daughter liked that one there. So I'll save it like that. Hit back to home. Back to radio. And that has set up the logo and uh, wallpapers for the. Um, joy d008 radio pad i think she's really going to enjoy it 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, you're welcome to email me at admin at kn4yba.com. Um, have a great day.